Hi everyone, I'm so excited to do a flip through which I haven't done in a very long time because you know to do a flip through you need to finish a uh, sketchbook and I'm now so active um, in my art studio and I have been really going for it and trying different styles and just there is no fear of um, you know producing something that is not up to my standard so to speak because even if I create something which I am not fully happy with I can still take aspects from that piece and then take it to another level and get it to where I want it to be so I'm totally playing I'm totally trying different things out different mediums and having so much fun now you won't see as much of that in this um, little tiny little sketchbook because it's sort of a hybrid between a little swatch book and a sketchbook I have a dedicated swatch book which is quite big where I keep all of my watercolor swatches and I actually need to update it because I have been buying a few more colors um this is little playbook that i kept and surprisingly it has taken me a very long time to finish this tiny little uh, sketchbook so i started it on october 24 of 2017 that is almost two years ago i actually can't believe that it took me two years to fill this tiny little one but it wasn't a sketchbook that i would actively um um, illustrate or do my art and this was a little sidekick which I had for little experimentations and little bits of color play so that's why it took me so long to do it it's a great little um, you know sketchbook to have it just literally fits in in your palm I would not repurchase it now uh, simply because it's taken me so long to fill it up however if I did tiny little illustrations in there and I would fill it up quite quickly I probably would repurchase it uh, again and again I had a lot of fun uh, with this one so let's go ahead and I will share the information of this sketchbook it's uh, it's by Stillman and Byrne and it is their beta series so it's quite a thick paper i would probably try if there is this size in the alpha series i probably would give it a go one day so the paper is really thick it's the 270 gsm and it's extra heavyweight it's great for watercolors and mixed medias and all sorts of stuff like that i will link this particular size and this particular sketchbook i have i have here down below so check out all the links and let's uh, start so the good thing with um, stillman and burn sketchbooks all of them have the um, cover the inside of the cover so at the back and front they're all lined with the same paper as they use um, in the sketchbook actually the the actual paper so you can always basically continue on onto the inside of the cover which is really fun because you can start off with a spread immediately whereas generally um, uh, some sort of cheap paper is used um, on the inside of the cover and therefore you can't really do anything you have to keep it plain and then start with the first paper uh, page which tends to be quite you know you sort of think oh where should I start with it's the first page but when it opens up as a spread it kind of is actually quite welcoming so I love this a lot about the Stillman and Byrne sketchbook so here I've just done some um, transparency tests and some mixing with the some new colors that I got back in 2017 and then I was just playing around and swatching them around. Next one I have a little mix here with the Lamy. This is the fine um, tip, this is the Lamy extra fine and this is the platinum extra fine just to see that it's actually the thinnest line. And I've done some little bit of illustrating here. It's sort of combination, like I said, of trying out products within uh, also illustrating so that you really get to see what they're like. This is Tattered Rose, which didn't fit in here. So these are the swatches for Tim Hall's Distressings, which, by the way, I so need to get into again because they're wonderful and I haven't used them in a long time. They're just fantastic. 
since that I have also added uh, quite a bit of a collection <laughs> to the oxide uh, distressing so that's been fun and here I'm just playing creating some backgrounds with the distress inks here I have some core high chroma swatches which are just absolutely beautiful super intense super bright it's one of my favorite like limited color um, sets that you can buy the colors are just me all over the place it's like if i went out and i purchased or picked the colors i would pick all of them possibly except for the purple not that i don't love this purple i love this particular purple so much it's this deoxazine purple but in general if i could pick another color i probably would pick it over purple just because i don't use purple that much but the set is beautiful so here i'm just playing around um, illustrating with those colors from the set some more experimentation here and yeah i'm checking out the color disperse and the mixtures with the cobalt teal is just so so beautiful and then i'm still playing with the cobalt teal completely hung on to it um it's just really pretty on its own as well as mixing it slightly uh, with the actually the pink from the set so this was the quinacridone magenta um, tiny little bit of quinacridone magenta with this cobalt teal creates this super pretty very pastely purple color which i absolutely adore okay so moving on we have more from core so i think this was from like a little dot card that i had so again if you look at these colors and then we go back to this set there is just no comparison look how beautifully um, bright they are and they look so great together mixing them together and these are just the usual you know the usual colors so yeah i love quite unique and um, outstanding colors so here i'm playing a little bit more um, doodling and using these colors um, by mixing them so the colors are very pretty you can create loads of lovely pastel colors as well as bright colors so you have that great white range from bright to pale in core um, so it's really pretty next i've been trying just a few other colors right here with some gold accents as well this is coming to december so this is december the 1st 2017 so i was inspired by the like christmas bubbles i guess i think i was already decorating the christmas tree soon after and um yeah i love christmas so i try to decorate it like at least a week or two weeks before all of our neighbors do it just because I love having the Christmas tree around for uh, quite a bit longer. And here, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg White Nights. These were the new colors that came out. I don't remember if all of them were new or just a couple of them, but this is the Quinacridone Red, Quinacridone Violet Rose, Quinacridone Rose, Rose and Violet Rose. Just stunning. I mean, do I need to say more? just absolutely beautiful colors so bright so gorgeous okay moving on Sennelier botanical watercolor set this was uh, the one by billy shawl which probably was my least watercolor uh, least favorite watercolor set that i have ever purchased uh with the exception of um schminke's student grade um i don't know just you know for botanical i've said this many times for botanical uh work just botanical work fantastic and to be painting not just flowers but i'm talking in the traditional botanical sense then it's a great set to have and it's the same one on a different paper which makes it look a lot brighter but i just didn't like it otherwise like i have so many beautiful other colors that i uh, always go to when i want to illustrate so here's the colors that i picked for my portable painter then some playing around with daniel smith green appetite genuine is this it yeah 
some fine tech uh, metallic colors which aren't really well swatched here so they kind of look a little bit washed out it's not a great representation this was my designs by Rachel Bath which I absolutely love her handmade watercolors and I think she was my inspiration for starting to make my own watercolors because her colors are unique and that's what makes it so good you know um, just unique colors that you can't buy anywhere else because they are mixed by the person that's doing them and I love it so then we have some playtime with different uh, brushes and some M. Graham so this was another really stunning uh, set uh, this is the quintet set which has five beautiful colors in there super bright and then we've got some comparisons here of the yellows and oranges um, here are a couple new colors I added of Daniel Smith oh I just realized I have an empty page so I definitely should do some sort of uh, illustration or playtime using some of these colors Kamurabi, the classic metallics, absolutely love them. Um, I also love that you can really um, create sort of like little bubbles of this um, uh, paint. And then when you dry them with a heat gun, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but it's got a texture to it. So it actually dries with this lovely texture and it looks like you just, you know, splattered some really heavy duty uh, gold paint on there so it looks really beautiful oh another white page now what's going on here so here I was playing with the wiki buttons um stamp set that i purchased here is the jackson's um watercolor set that i was sent by them to uh share with you guys and some color swatches and mixing over here what's this one these are some new colors I added to my palette so some of the yellows oranges and turquoises and so this is the Holbein horizon blue horizon blue schminke cobalt turquoise Windsor Newton cobalt turquoise light which is a bit greener than the schminke's cobalt turquoise I hope you can see it they're fantastic with mixing as well then I've done this girl, which I really, really love, this illustration with these colors. And this is more recent, so I haven't done anything in a really long time since this girl. And I think I didn't put the date on here anywhere. So this must have been maybe a month, month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. And then now I just got into eye painting, so I've done the eye here and then what was this oh yeah i was sharing my greens and comparing them as well to the new green that i added to my palette which is daniel smith hooker's green which is a lovely bright green color here i tried to mix some of these um, um yellows and oranges that i have with the hooker's green and then finally, I just decided to play around with the greens that I could mix with my greens in the current palette that I'm using and create as many green colors that I could and different shades of the greens. And, um, and yeah, and just do a little leafy doodle, which was super fun. And that was the last one, September 26, 2019. All right, I hope you enjoy this and I will do also a uh, kind of silent version of this if you don't like the chatty version and that will be very quick and just have some music to it. So I hope you enjoy my little flip through. There is uh, at least one more coming soon. So thanks for watching and see you soon.